Hi and welcome to Shorts Classes. Today we are going to be doing some very important sums and questions on data interpretation. You can contact us at the number given on the screen for any doubts that you have of a queries of a full videos on our courses. Let's see our first question. A survey of the movie goers from five cities PQRST which is summarized below. The second column gives the percentage of viewers in each city who watch on the average less than one movie a week. The third column gives the total number of viewers who view on the average one or more than one movie per week. Let us see what the data gives us. Percentage of viewers and viewers watching one or more movies a week. Let us see what the first question has asked of us. Which city has the highest number of viewers who watch less than one movie a week? The question will be City T. City T contributes the largest number summand to the sum in problem. Moving on to the next question, we have to calculate the city with the second lowest number of movie watchers. City P has the same second lowest number of movie watchers which is 4000. We obtain that by 2000 by 1 minus 50 percent who watch the movies. That is option number B. Now we see number 34. The total number of all moviegoers in the five cities who watch less than one movie per week is amongst the following. Let us calculate 50 into 2000 by 100 minus 50 plus 20 into 3000 by 100 minus 20 plus 75 into 1400 by 100 minus 75 thus the calculation looks like as follows <coughs> notice the formula is z into p by 1 minus z where z is the value in the first column that we had which is percentage of viewers watching less than one movie a week on an average and p is the value in the second column that we had as viewers watching one or more movies a week. This is what the calculation will be and upon that we find option number D corresponds with our answer that is 19,450. Moving on to the next question. Now in the next question the sales and cost of goods for 12 consecutive months are shown in the following chart. We will use this information to answer the following questions. The blue line over here shows sales whereas the red line shows us the cost of the goods sold. Notice the graph very well because we will be continuing with our questions. Let's see what the first question asks of us. Which pair of numbers among those given below best represent the average sales and cost figure for ABC company over the period of 12 months. Let's see the graph. Now we notice the values given to us. First we check the minimal number of average sales. The average sales cannot be as small as rupees 642 lakh as given in option C and D as there are many large values to offset the few marginal smaller values. Now checking the second one for the same reason rupees 383 lakh is too small a value for average cost thus option number B also has 383. Now with this we are left with option number A. 
both option number A has 742 as the average sales and 483 as the average cost which are the best values among the given option so that it is not offset by the marginally smaller values. Let's see our next question. Next we have a pie chart. The first pie chart shows distribution of material for Mr. A's body. The second pie chart shows the amount of proteins in different body organs of Mr. A's body. Please notice the pie charts as we are going to do the further questions. The first question asks what percentage of Mr. A's weight consists of muscular and skinner proteins. Let's see. We see that protein is only 20% whereas muscular is of 10% and skin is of 10%. Thus we will find 20% of protein of 20% of muscle and skin and this comes as 4% that is option number C. First 20% is of protein and the next 20% is the summation of skin and muscles. Please do not confuse because this is a very easy sum and it is very scoring. Moving on, what percentage of Mr. A's body weight is made up of bones? Now let us check the value. The answer would be it cannot be determined because notice only percentage or occurrence of proteins in bones is provided but not the overall percentage of bones in the body. Thus option number D. Moving on to our last question. Now in the next one we have a cumulative bar chart below given us the production of four products A, B, C and D for four years. It is known that a total production increases with 20% over its value in every successful year. Therefore, the difference between the production of C in 2003 and production of A in 2001 is 2200 units. Let us see the chart. Well, this is the chart. It is given for 2001, 2 and 3 and as well as 2000. Let us see what the question asks. If all the units of B produced in 2001 are sold at a price of rupees 100 per unit, what is the sales revenue? Now let us take the total production in 2001 as x. Thus the answer will be 1.2 into 1.2 into 20 percent I'm going to explain this in a wire minus 20 percent of x equals to 2200 as given in the question. The 1.2 is obtained as it is said in the question that production increases 20 percent than last year. Hence we try to calculate the actual production between 2001. Hence x equals to 25,000 units. Thus it is also seen from the figure that it is 40 percent. Therefore x into 40 percent into 100 comes to 10 lakhs which is option number B. With this we come to an end of a great video on data interpretation. Please like, subscribe and click on the notification button for more such videos that will be uploaded soon. You can call us at the number for any queries or questions that you have. You can also WhatsApp us at the number and contact us for more videos on our courses.